Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome to this week's bonus video. Hello. So this isn't going to be a very long video because I'm just on my way to brunch. It's Sunday, Sunday the 14th, maybe. Just on my way to brunch with my friend Valencia and I thought I'd give you guys a quick update because I've just returned from my longest road trip so far in my car. So it's an hour and a half away I went to see my best friend Sophie. You guys have seen her in the RAV4 video a few weeks ago and I loved it. The fuel, the fuel economy was amazing. I spent like 20 euros probably there and back. Cruise control worked wonders. Um, I wasn't going slow so I was pushing my little one litre engine but she performed beautifully. I've just had the windows tinted. Do you remember when I did the presentation video of my Ibiza? I told you guys that's what I was going to do. So I finally got rid of that awful plate holder and got the windows tinted and I've ordered some stickers for my vinyl friend to have my little V, V from my logo on there, so that's nice. And really, really happy with her. Downsides that I've noticed now on the longer drive was a lack of lumbar support, something I had never ever thought of before. I had had a really heavy leg session the day before, so I think my lower back was probably a little bit more sensitive than normal, but it killed. <laughs> By the time I got to Sophie's house after an hour and a half of driving, I was like, oh, I need a massage. Luckily, I was booked in for massage the next day at the salon where she works. But that's beside the point, and I'm digressing. Lumbar support, I never realised how much I had used it in the past. So without even thinking about it, it seems that I was always just, you know, food figuring around, fiddling around with um, with the side of the seat where the lumbar support adjustment is and this car doesn't have boo. I'd never noticed up to now, I'm not going to be doing long drives very often so it's not something that's going to kill my life but what is killing my life uh, and two of you through YouTube, through the YouTube Instagram messaged me when I said I'd got this car and said just wait till you see the reflection on the windscreen and I was like Come on, people, you're just being picky now. There's a reflection on the windscreen. So on the dash, we've got the like the air vent. The air vent, the angle of it, I don't know if it's the angle of the dash or the positioning of the air vent, but it's all I could see. So it's literally, if I had heads-up display, it's where the heads-up display would be. So it's right in your point of view as a driver looking forward. You can see the design of the dashboard and then at the bottom you can see the grill. I had no set up to now because it was cloudy and rainy and whatnot but now the sun is blaring every day that is the only thing I can see. So if anyone has any recommendations of what to do, I mean I, d I don't know what to do, I can't, I could cover it I guess when I'm going to have a towel on my dashboard. First world issues. That's what that is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just thought I would um, check in with you guys quickly and say hi and give you an update on my car. She now has 2,116 kilometers and I filled up the tank four times with 40 euros each time. So loving the fuel consumption. It's a, a breath of fresh air after many years of having cars that I had to stop at the petrol station every day. So I'm very, very much enjoying that. Everything else works perfect. I can't figure out, as a last point, can't figure out how to send voice messages. Now, no, you shouldn't have your phone when you're driving. How to have voice messages, how you can listen to them. If I've tried it with, the, with it plugged in, and I've tried it just using the Bluetooth, and neither way can I get voice messages to play whilst I'm listening to music. So if anyone has any recommendations on what I need to do, it's obviously 